everybody thanks for joining me today if you're new to my channel thanks for being here now would be a good time to hit that subscribe button and my notification bell if you like what you see and uh, follow me along with my art journey I do a lot of different kinds of art so you may just find some inspiration along the way either way thanks for joining me I am putting the finishing touches on this big assemblage piece that I've been working on over the last month, I guess, now. I started on this end, hoping, yeah, I guess you can see, and I am just putting on a dry brush coat of Lumiere metallic paint in super copper, and in some spots I am just giving it a squirt of water to help kind of move it around a little bit but most of the time I'm just applying it with this old scruffy stencil brush because I can um, dry brush really well with it just load it up and tap it off and I think you can see it leaves just the right amount of paint it's got a fairly long handle so I can get in underneath too. So that's what I've been working on over here. I did try the, I have the lid off, or I would hold it up for you. It is the Prima, this is the color. It is Art Alchemy Metallic Acrylic Paint in Light Patina. And I put some on here but I'm kind of thinking it's pretty, but I think it's too blue. I really want more of a turquoise shade on here. So rather than use that, I think I'm just going to wait until this copper layer dries and then I'll use the Peacock Art Alchemy Wax because it is more of a turquoise color. So I'm just going to continue working on this. I'll speed this up at some point. I know it doesn't all fit on the right here. I don't know if you can see it because it's in front of this, but it's a little heavier than I would like. So I just give it a couple little squirts and just kind of move it around. I can take some off with a baby wipe and get back to the black. See, that's better. So it's just a matter of playing with the color. This, I noticed, needs some additional glue help. So. I will fix that after I get this paint layer on and dry. I'm just going to kind of go over that blue a little bit, push it back, and then we'll add some turquoise later. So I'm not going for a full coverage, obviously. I'm just trying to give all of these pieces that I just sewed with black and the black um, chipboard pieces some of this copper color, letting the black show through in a lot of spots because obviously a lot of iron would have been in this steampunk piece and iron is black until it rusts. And I have added here all along the edges some thumbtacks that were black and you know thumbtacks are usually pretty shiny so I'm hitting the heads of those with the copper as well Let me get my edge so I'm just going to continue on here I will speed this up and at some point I'll come back and We'll talk about where to go next.
Okay, this copper layer of paint is done. I'm going to let this dry for about an hour just so that I'm not lifting it when I go on with the next color because I think I'm going to, before I do the um, turquoise wax, I'm going to add some of this Al Art Alchemy Firebird um, wax. And it's it's going to bring the red of the copper out, but yet add another kind of metallic tone. And then I will use the peacock wax. I had to take the dial that was over here. I took it off. I'm waiting for the glue to dry. I glued it to a little piece of wood. I think it'll give it more stability and I can tuck it back under here. And I moved the butterfly that was here over to here and put an old like a medallion kind of coin thing there to take its place. So that's where I'm at now and I'm going to let it dry and I'll get started with the firebird wax and then at some point I'll bring you back and we'll finish it up. Okay, I am back. I went across and added the firebird art alchemy wax and I think you can tell the difference. Um, just kind of hit the edges and just brightened everything up. You can especially tell here. Is that on camera? Yeah. On the door plate. Let me move it over a little bit. It really brightened that up and brought that pattern out. So I am ready to add some peacock. I'm still waiting for that dial to dry, but I'll just add that back on later. Um, let me get a dry brush here. This one's real scruffy. It's worth saving your old brushes. So I'm just gonna get some in the brush and then swirl it around in the lid just to distribute it through so I don't get a great big amount in one spot. I haven't used these waxes before so I'm a little what's the word? Scared? <laughs> I don't want to mess things up here but I want some of this on here for sure because it's so pretty. So I'm just going to put little touches here and there. I can always come back and add more later if I think I want more but I'm just going to kind of go a little slow here to start. Not overdo it too much right at once. So I'll just speed this up and get it on.
Okay, guys. I think it's done. I'm back on my stool. <laughs> I'm going to try and just move it so you can see all the different parts and pieces. So, I kind of like the waxes. I hadn't used them before. And they go on really easy. I was able to wipe off some areas that I thought were too dark. So, there she is. So I will let this dry for a few days, I think, and then figure out my process for hanging it and where to hang it and that's a mystery. I kind of have an idea. I think I'm going to put like the metal strap hangers on the back. I have some somewhere. So yeah, I'm happy it's done. I like it. Um, I ain't going to lie. I was tired of working on it. It was really big and it got kind of boring in certain places, like all the gluing and everything. But um, I'm glad it's done and I will be happy to get back to my other artwork, my art journaling and collage work and the stuff that I usually do. I will also do assemblage, but I don't think I'm going to do one this big for a very long time. But hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up, whether you like it or not, or give me a thumbs down if you hate it. Either way, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. I'd appreciate that. Um, finally, at the end, this was phase five. Coloring of the big assemblage. Thanks for being here. In the meantime, go make some art. Bye.